Hi, I'm Brian Kenyon, director of the Florida School of Preaching. Since 1969, we have been training preachers for the Churches of Christ. Men decide at all ages to become preachers. Some, like Timothy in Acts chapter 16, 1 and 2, decided very young to be a preacher of the gospel. Thus, we have had students right out of high school or early college age that have come and trained with us. They are now successful preachers or continuing their education. Others, like Saul of Tarsus, who became the Apostle Paul, decide in midlife for a career change. These men were very successful in their previous careers, but something in them just felt they had to preach the gospel, and they are successful preachers today. Others come to us in their retirement years. These men may want to know more about the Bible just to be better elders, better Bible class teachers, but like Jeremiah of old, once they get the Word of God in them, they cannot help but to preach. For almost 50 years, the Florida School of Preaching has provided a niche for this type of education. For it's not practical for some of these to go to college, to a Christian college, due to costs as well as classes that are not directly relevant to preaching, such as mathematics, biology, secular history, the arts, and things of this nature. But we provide a concentrated two-year study in Bible and Bible-related subjects. The Bible is God's revelation to humanity. Everything we know about true religion is found in the God-breathed volume of 66 books. By the time our students complete the two-year program here, they will have had exposure to every book in the Bible, plus many other relevant subjects to gospel preaching. Not only must a gospel preacher know the book, but he must also know how to communicate that knowledge. Thus, our curriculum includes classes in English grammar, English composition, sermon preparation and delivery, and personal evangelism. Secondly, not only must he know how to communicate that knowledge, but a preacher must also know how to think critically. Thus, our curriculum has included logic and Christian evidences. Thirdly, a preacher must know about the religious world around him. Thus, our curriculum includes church history, restoration history, and world religion. Finally, in our day and age, a preacher must be aware and know how to use the electronic tools available to him. Since 1996, we have offered classes in computers. Currently, the class consists of our students learning one of the most advanced Bible research programs available. Even though our two-year program is very intense, our graduates understand that they must continue their studies. And so within those two years, we give them the tools necessary to dig deeper and deeper into God's Word throughout their lifetime. The Florida School of Preaching delivers to the Brotherhood faithful and powerful gospel preachers. We emphasize to our students the need to be of sterling character and sound in the faith. We define sound as binding where God has bound and loosing where God has loosed and the wisdom to know the difference. We also emphasize to our students the need to have a humble disposition, to recognize matters of judgment as matters of judgment. For if one's view on a matter of judgment does not violate plain Bible passages or principles, we can still be in fellowship and friendly with one another. Finally, the Florida School of Preaching equips its students not only to publicly proclaim the gospel, but also to be effective personal workers to help grow the local churches with whom they serve. Only eternity can measure the value of the Florida School of Preaching. Due to the generosity of individual Christians and local churches of Christ, we are able to operate day by day and to offer our students a tuition-free education. There are ways you can help us to continue this great work. First, become familiar with our work. You can do this by subscribing to our Harvester, our monthly publication, through our lectureships, and through our study materials. Second, pray for our work. Pray that the Word of the Lord may continue to have free course in our country, 
pray for new students and supporters. Third, financially support our work, either to the general operation of the school or to a student's living expenses. Fourth, remember us in the state planning. If you would like further information or a personal visit to your congregation, please feel free to contact us.